Thank y'all for joining me today. I just wanted to get on here because I know y'all seen some changes that's been going through on my channel for the last week or two. First starting with the name change, changed it to Ransom, and then the banner that was changed. Um, the reason why I changed it is because for my first year as a content creator, I've been going with the idea of not having a niche. And in that year, I might have gained almost 90 subscribers. And it, I mean, I got a lot of views, got over 12,000 views, but I haven't got the traction that I wanted with subs. My intent from the beginning of doing this, when I started content creating, my goal was to build a sub base of at least 10,000 subscribers within that first year. Then once I hit that 10,000 subscriber mark or threshold, I was going to start putting out more content the way I want to put it out. I always wanted to take my channel and treat it as though it was a network. Put it in that mind where you have different programs that will show up, um, that will come on at different times. And for about a good five to six years, I've been developing this program called the Bronx Town Hall of Fame. And I didn't want to start putting that up till I hit that 10,000 threshold mark. But speaking with my sister, she was telling me that basically, why wait? Do it now. Do it the way you want to do it. Stop trying to follow a trend and set your own. And that's why you see the banner now is called Bronx Town. See, Bronx Town is my labor of love for hip hop. As you know, I have a video on this channel in which I documented the entire weekend of the Hall of Fame induction ceremony for Run DMC. I traveled with DMC to Cleveland and, and we shot that entire weekend. And from that moment on, I was always wondering, why doesn't the culture of hip hop have its own Hall of Fame? Why do we have to rely on this rock and roll to show the appreciation to our hip hop forefathers? And with that in mind, that's when I started creating this Bronx Town Hall of Fame. I designed a plaque, and I call it the Bronx Town Badge, in which I would like to bestow to those that we induct into the Bronx Town Hall of Fame. And I also wanted to create a few series around the culture of hip hop. In two of those series that I developed, I will begin posting the week of March the 4th. The first series, or one of the series, is called uh, The First 52. Every week I'm going to induct a new pioneer of hip hop into the Bronx Town Hall of Fame. And since there's 52 weeks in a year, I'm calling this the first 52. The second one I created is called the Bronx Town Blogger, in which I will take you back in time for different music releases, album releases, song releases, different birthdays of hip hop's past. And I am convincing these programs down to hopefully exceed no longer than at the most five minutes. Looking at my analytics of the past videos that I had up, I'm averaging anywhere between two minutes and three minutes of actual watch time per view. I just wanted to post this video and let you know what the intent is, why things are changing. I hope that this will take ground and does pick up more subs because there's greater things that I'm going to do with Bronx Town and other programming that I have in mind. So I want to thank you for your patience and continuing to stick in there with me. I hope that you will continue so you can see where this journey takes us. I know that there's greatness to come. This is Bronx Town, and I'm your curator. And I want to thank you for subscribing.